What's up, everyone? Vince Ingenito here for IGN. Um, going it solo on this Rewind Theater. We have a hot new, literally hot new Street Fighter V trailer showing off. <gasps> Who is this? What is this? Arr, it's Ken. It is Ken and its Ryu's counterpart in Shotokan Karate. Uh, honestly, I did not believe it was him at first. When I was first looking through this, I was like, okay, I saw the hair, and I was like, oh my god, it's Alex. That's what I, that's the first thing I thought because he doesn't you know he's not wearing his uh his trademark red gi, um so I was like oh maybe this is uh maybe this is gonna be an uh you know this is Alex but then as it went on farther I I saw this his he's wearing kind of the 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 red on the bottom half but uh, up on the top he's uh he's got some kind of Under Armour uh thing going on but he looks dope um. Something I really like about what they're doing with Ken so far already is they're selling this idea of, like, he's the kicking guy. You know, like, he for a second, like, there's times during this video he looks like Kim Capwan from uh, from King of Fighters uh, with all the, the spin kicks. Um, you'll notice, uh, we'll, we'll keep going through here, you'll notice uh, the first thing they kind of show after his little uh, opening pose here, let's heat things up. Right there, that's... Um, that looks like it's a command normal of some kind, like a, t a two hitting command normal, kind of like Akuma's uh, uh, stand roundhouse in Street Fighter Four. But uh, I'm not sure. It could be a target combo, maybe, because target combos are a thing in Street Fighter Five. But it looks like it's all one animation. So I think that this is just a command normal. But that, you know, that first hit there, uh, and even the uh, and even the second hit, really, the way he spins around. Um, but more the first hit looks kind of like his uh, medium kick or uh, roundhouse kick from Third Strike. So, again, uh, something they're doing a lot with Street Fighter V so far is they're definitely using animations and uh, frames uh, that you've seen before, even if it's not for functionality, even if it's not necessarily to say the character plays like they did in older games, it's at least to make it uh, make the character look and feel uh, kind of familiar. But I think opening with this move in particular is telling because, again, it kind of... Uh, you know, it kind of uh, defines Ken's style a little bit more. He's the kick guy, um, more so it seems like in this than any other uh, than any other Street Fighter. Um, his style, though, if we get more into the video, is very combo oriented. There we have some kind of a variation on a hur you know on the hurricane kick, where uh, where he kind of arcs through the air with it. Now you know he's had an air hurricane kick for you know a long time now, but this is a, a version of the hurricane kick that starts on the ground. Because uh, he he cancels into it off of a uh, off of some kind of a standing normal, and then he actually goes up into the air with it and uh, and combos through the uh, through the air. So that that's a move that starts from uh, from standing. So I don't know if it's going to be a different command than Hurricane Kick, um, or if that's going to be um, just a particular version of Hurricane Kick. Because uh, that's that's what Nash has going on. You know, Nash doesn't have like a, a real flash kick. He's got like his roundhouse version of one of his specials is a flash kick, and the other two versions are actually totally different looking moves. So this could be that. Uh, it could be the same input as Hurricane Kick, but just with a different strength. Um, or it it could be a different move altogether. But uh, let's uh, let's let's see that this coolness at uh, at full speed one more time. And then we'll uh, and then we'll kind of move on here because it looks so uh, looks so fluid and so stylish. Oh, it looks so cool! All right, so here there's uh, there's Ken's classic uh, kind of classic throw. That's a uh, he had that throw. That's his back throw. Um, that was his back throw in Third Strike. Um, you know, and and he's had that throw uh, in other uh, in other versions of Street Fighter as well. So that's not exactly new. Um, and here we've got like his his mash throw where he's hitting over. Oh, we're gonna get to this. This nuttiness in a second. We're gonna get right to that. But but yeah, again, this is like his classic, um, his classic mash throw. Is uh, which I believe was his neutral throw, uh, in uh, in Third Strike. Again, a lot of similarities to Third Strike. Um, I really do feel like Street Fighter Five is Third Strike crossed with Alpha. Um, I've I've certainly written about that. Well, you know, you can you can see that elsewhere on IGN. But uh, this next thing coming up here is crazy. Oh my God. Is this a dive kick? <laughs> Does Ken have a dive kick? What kind of nuttiness is this? Now he's glowing orange, and uh, we know, or at least I know from having played some a good bit of Street Fighter V now, that uh, that's the that's like the visual language for uh, an EX move. So this is probably EX Air Tatsu, um, or it could be EX Air uh, whatever that move is he did before. That that's kind of like a Tatsu. That's that 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 arcs through the air. Um, but if we uh, if we back it up here and we let it play, 
we see that this puts Birdie in a uh, in a spinning knockdown, which uh, is a very specific kind of juggle state in some Street Fighter games and some Capcom games. Um, but uh, I don't know if it has any particular properties or special properties here. But he is able to juggle off of it. Uh, what's cool here? That's a really neat little bit of tech there. Um, that's honestly not showing off something so much specific about Ken's character, but actually just showing a, a, um, like, a like a specific move. But it's really just kind of like, hey, here's a technique, you, here's a tactic you can use uh, you can that that's viable uh, off this move. So you can hit them with this ex dive kicky thing, and then you can hit with a jab. And that forces them to the person to air tech, and then you see the Ken player dashes underneath, and then it's a low on the other side. That's a great mix-up, um, really, really crafty. And there's setups like that in Street Fighter IV. Uh, you know, Sakura, uh, I'm sorry, Sakura has um, some really good setups like that that always catch me, especially online. <laughs> Lots of good memories of that. Um, but yeah, if we can just back this up, just see it at full uh, at full uh, speed again, it it looks like a really nice use of uh, of that spinning knockdown. But there's more that uh, Ken can do off this, which we'll see. Uh, just a, oh, in just a second. But I need, I'm sorry, if there's one thing you need to take away from this uh, this video, aside the, the, from the fact that Ken looks rad is, in this game, is this. So well, it's uh, probably a crouching short, probably a standing jab. Uh, probably standing short. That's his stand short from third strike again. Um, I'm not sure if he's linking that or if it's a target combo, but then he cancels off of it into hurricane kick. That's definitely hurricane kick. And what is going on? Lo and behold, Ken's hurricane kick knocks down. I do not remember the last time Ken's hurricane kick knocked down. Someone will probably call me out and say that I'm wrong. But I think the last time Ken had a hurricane kick that knocked down was in Street Fighter 2, like vanilla Street Fighter 2, because in Championship Edition, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, it's been many years, but Championship Edition is when they differentiated him uh, and gave him a multi-hitting uh, hurricane kick that did not knock down. Uh, so yeah, Ken has a, has a hurricane kick that knocks down again, and that's a big deal because a lot of people have felt that the fact that his hurricane kick does not knock down has kind of made, uh, made it in some ways... Uh, useless. So the fact that he has a hurricane kick that can knock down is important. Um, also worth noting, this hurricane kick seems to travel a very short distance. Um, it's probably the, it could be the short version. Uh, but again, getting back to what we were saying before, it could also be that like Nash's uh, Sonic Scythe, um, it could be that like the, the short version is the one that knocks down and acts like a regular uh, hurricane kick, and the other versions are the ones that you know might go through the air. Uh, we're gonna see him make more use of this uh, short hurricane kick uh, in just a second. So of course he's got a fireball back. Um, not much to say about fireball. Obviously it looks like a fireball. One thing that is kind of interesting is that it, it seems to knock Birdie back a uh, a fair bit. Like he he definitely seems to slide backwards, not just reel back as in he was hit. But he seems to actually physically slide backwards. And that's not, um, you know, we're really testing the limits of my Street Fighter technical knowledge here. I don't think projectiles generally actually force you to lose ground in Street Fighter. Um, you'll definitely reel, but I think that the animation always brings you back to the be to, be to the beginning. Um, I'm totally willing to be corrected on that. Um but yeah, the, it just I noticed it, it just maybe because of the animation, the way the animation is, it really was very, uh, very noticeable how far back um, he was. Uh, Birdie is getting uh, is being is being knocked. But uh, let's uh, let's move on because there's plenty more to get into. Okay, so right there uh, we have uh, Ken's step kick. Um, it looks a uh, it looks a fair bit different than it did in Street Fighter Four. Again, I know you're noticing a trend here. This is uh, you know this was. This is looks almost exactly identical animation-wise to the way uh, his forward uh, medium kick uh, or forward forward uh, for those up on the Street Fighter parlance. This looks like forward forward, uh, which was uh, you know his step kick also in uh, in third strike uh, as well. And here it uh, right from neutral without any counter hit or anything, it seems to cause a knockdown. Um, so that uh, that's interesting too, uh, with both the with now the hurricane kick causing a knockdown, uh, the fireball possibly pushing people back, and his step kick uh, scoring a uh, a knockdown. Um, I feel like Ken 
can use these tools to possibly be a little bit harder to get to, although he's not necessarily known as a keep away or zoning character. He seems to have, you know, several ways of, uh, of scoring a knockdown and getting people, uh, getting people to get off him. Um, but honestly, I think you see when you watch the rest of this trailer, he's really much more offensive oriented, especially when we get into his V trigger. So let's see, uh, let, let's just see the, uh, this, uh, step kick 3.0, uh, again, just see what that looks like. Okay, there it is. So that right there, I'm pretty sure is his V, uh, his V reversal. Cause he looks like he's in regular block stun there. He doesn't look like he's, he does a special animation right before. So I don't think it's like a, some kind of a V skill. I really don't see his V skill anywhere in this, uh, anywhere in this uh, in this trailer so I can only speculate it to what it could be but uh, yeah you know V reversals you know a lot of people have said so far and I kind of agree they need a little help right now they're not they don't feel very strong they're a little bit on the slow side um, they don't seem to be a lot of value for the, the resource you spend on them but uh, yeah he just kind of comes around with a with a roundhouse kick that uh, that seems to stagger birdie I don't know you know they don't show the rest of the animation pass here so no telling if you recover fast enough to follow it up or anything but uh, yeah uh, that's just, uh, that's just Ken's view reversal. Um, so going on. Okay, so now we're getting some combo stuff. What the what? Hold on a second. Okay, let's back. We gotta, we gotta back that up. Let's back that up. Let's take a look at this. So here we definitely see Ken's V trigger in action. He comes in with a, uh, a, a jumping, uh, probably roundhouse or forward. Um, uh, probably close stand fierce, I would guess. Um... And then it looks like he's going into a DP. That looks like the first frame of a DP. Although Ryu's crouch f uh, fierce in this game looks like the first frame of a DP. And it actually isn't. And that confused a lot of people because uh, they thought he was uh, he was uh, V-trigger canceling the first frame of, uh, of his Shoryu to make it safe. Which actually wasn't the case. It was just his crouch fierce. But I think there's a fierce before this. Um, or maybe it's a target combo. Yeah, you know what this could be? Um, this wasn't supposed to be my main point of, of, of focusing on this, but it looks like this could be his two-punch target combo. Yeah, this could be his two-punch target combo, uh, again, from Third Strike, which he, which was used in a lot of uh, bread-and-butter combos for Ken. So this could be this, this could be a target combo, um, and then into DP, or that could be a third hit of a target combo. Maybe they added a third hit to it, but this looks like the classic two-hit target combo uh, into DP, uh, third strike combo, and then he just cancels it and whoosh, spin and fire. You're gonna see that's that's all, Ken is all about spinning and and firing flames everywhere. Uh, in Street Fighter Five, it apparently looks like so interesting. Here he does this little spin, but then Birdie's launched up into the air. Now that could have been the normal launch he would have gotten out of the DP if he had done it, um, or if we look at it later on in this uh, in this video, it looks to me, um, it looks to me like it's possible uh, that that doing this V trigger actually does juggle them up in the air uh, expressly so that you can combo off it. Because you'll see right after this, he does this he does the spin and then he kind of jets off into like a into a sprint automatically. So I wonder if every time you use the V trigger, it is automatically uh, Puts them up into the air into a spinning, uh, you know, a spinning float state, uh, and then just moves you forward a set amount, so that you know you're in an ideal situation to uh, to continue on with a juggle. Which in this case it's an uh, an ex either an ex uh, uh, tatsu or it's an ex version of what might be a new move uh, for uh, for Ken altogether. But um, you can see you're starting to see all the all the spins and the fire and you know you're just seeing that this this character is just going to be all about styling on people and um and putting together huge combos um so let's watch that at full speed because it looks so sick Ooh, it looks so cool so yeah what's really significant about this is that okay um yeah let's back up again because there's something new here we'll talk more about the v trigger in a second um so yeah here we've got so here we have what looks like uh, again a short hurricane kick. Um, short hurricane kick after these couple of punches. Yeah, short hurricane kick. That's not an ex. He is not flashing orange. You can see Ken is not flashing orange. So this isn't a special property of the of the ex or anything. This is a short hurricane kick, um, followed by uh, ex Shoryu, 
which uh, is kind of cool because in it, it looks like his EX Shoryu is actually kind of like a mini version of Shoryu Epa, which is, you know, um, you know, Shoryu Epa, which is, you know, one of his uh, classic, um, you know, super moves, super arts. It's uh, It's been in several, uh, it's been in several games. Um, usually there's three uh, reps of a shore you can kind of in there. This looks like it's just two. He lands from the shore, uh, from the uh, Tatsu, and then uh, does one shore you uh, into a, a second flaming shore you. And you can see that like that fire trail that like that arcs off the ground. That looks very third strike uh, as well. So if we can see the whole thing uh, full, you know, full speed here again. Um, again, some some nice combo. I'm sure that's huge damage output early on. Um, ooh, okay, so here's a couple, there's a, there's, let's unpack this, there's a few important things in this combo here. So, so, okay, so again, this looks like it could be that same target combo, uh, and then he, um, he does a, uh, a fireball, so he can definitely cancel, we def we, nev we we can definitely see that if that is the same target combo, which I think it is the same target combo as before, um, yeah, it's the... It's that front punch, yeah, and then the, and then the left, uh, the uppercut with the left, yeah. I think it's the same target combo from before. And then he he's able to special cancel that. He hits with the with an ex, uh, ex uh, fireball, and then again he uh, he cancels with the V trigger. So now here it looks like uh, Birdie has not popped up. So that that debunks the idea that uh, that the the V trigger always pops them up in the air. It doesn't. Uh, but we can see that it definitely does uh, cause him to do this run forward. So, yeah, he definitely starts into that sprint either either way. And then he comes out of it. And now, uh, again, here's that uh, command normal we saw at the beginning uh, with the two kicks, which causes a spinning knockdown. And look at that. You can cancel off of that command normal uh, as well. So it looks like he's got... It's either a command normal or a target combo in any case. So, both ways here, we've got either a we've got a uh, command normal that can can special cancel off of. We've got a target combo that can can special cancel off of. Um, and here he he spends some more meter to do a an ex fireball. Um, but yeah, the the theme here though he can cancel into special off of command normals, uh, at least these this command normal and um, a target combo. But also the important thing here is that he can v trigger cancel off of a special. Which you know, when we looked at him using it before earlier in the uh, in the trailer, we weren't sure if that's you know we're still not positive if that's the first hit of a Shoryu, or if that was uh, or before from before, or if that was his Crouch Fears because it looks they can, the two can look the same. Um, but here we're for sure that's a fireball, that's a special move, and he's canceling it with a V trigger. So uh, we 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 definitely know that this 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 V trigger is definitely meant to be a combo tool. It's uh, intended for you to cancel out of special or normal moves with it, um, so that you can continue combos uh, in kind of crazy ways. So he's going to be a very combo oriented, offense oriented character, but that totally fits uh, well with uh, with Ken and what he does. So that that was just a super stylish combo. Uh, again, the now the key thing there is that whatever his dive kick uh, move is, it looked like he did an ex version of it. And oh, well, actually, before the original time we saw the dive kick, it looked like it was two hits. It looked like it was uh, in the ex as well. Rather, this uh, we we see it from earlier in the animation here. Um, we can see, so here he is in the jump. He hasn't used it yet because he's not blinking yet. And then he starts blinking here, and he he. He whiffs an attack here, so there's there's two hits with this uh, dive kickish uh, looking, and it looks like a, a third uh, as well on his way down. Uh, how many of these actually uh, make contact? Let's let's just see here if we can count. Two. So the first one whiffs, the second two uh, hit, and then uh, and then he lands. So uh, yeah, I don't know if this is actually a different move than what we saw before. Um, because the the uh, the one we saw before hit, and then caused the spinning knockdown. Whereas this one, uh, it hits twice and then he lands with it. So again, that could be a different. Maybe it's a different ex version, right? Maybe it's the same move, different ex version. Maybe it's maybe one of them is short plus forward, the other one's forward plus roundhouse. Um, yeah, who knows? Or maybe it's just if the second, if the first hit, um, maybe if the second hit hits. Then the third hit doesn't do a spinning knockdown, but if the first and second hit swift, then the third one is a spinning knockdown. Um, who knows? 
Uh, we'll see. And then he uh, he hits with some kind of standing normal, and then it looks like he links a crouch forward afterwards. Again, that could be a target combo, but from the timing, it looks to me like that's link timing. Uh, you know, Street Fighter Five certainly has its mix of... Uh, it definitely has links in there, even though target combos are thrown in. Links are still definitely a thing. Yeah, at full speed, that definitely looks like it's a it's a it's a link. So here again, we see the same move ag again, whiffing, and then the the last hit does a spinning knockdown. Let's see it again. Yeah, it definitely seems that if the second hit hits, that that must be what it is. I can see clearly there that the first two hits, um, the first two hits whiffed. Let's let's take it from the beginning again. Um, yeah. So in the air, there's one whiff, two whiff. And that third hit is definitely what we saw hitting in the earlier in the trailer when it caused the spinning knockdown. So here he does something a little bit different with it, though. Um, a different application. Instead of going for a reset, um, he does something a little bit different. Again, goes forward and hits with an attack, and then cancels it with the uh, uh, cancels it with the V trigger. And again, it's tough to tell. It's really tough to tell. Uh, he's that. That's definitely a uh, a forward dash of his own. Actually, you know what's weird about this is that I'm not sure if this is a forward dash because he's going into a full kind of sprint move, and that's not usually an animation for a dash. Is it possible that this is his V skill? Is it possible that 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 Ken's V skill is a short range uh, dash? That he can then cancel out of into uh, with special moves. I think it is. I'm not willing to 100% bet it, but I think that could be Ken's V skill is that he can dash from a standstill. He can dash and then cancel it into normals or may maybe it's just specials. That could be again. Jury's out whether that's uh, first hit of a DP or uh, or if that's just down fierce. So that's just crouch fierce. But yeah, he hits with it. Um, cancel, bam, and goes straight into that dash again, uh, and then juggles that time with a uh, with a with a ex sure uh, sure you. Oh, actually, no, he doesn't just do the ex sure you right off. That's so sick. Okay, so he goes forward, he juggles with a regular sure you, and then lands, and then hits them with another one. And here we're gonna let you watch this in full speed. Ooh. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Let's back up again, and, and so this is um, this looks like a variation of uh, his uh, Jinrai Kyaku, uh, which was uh, you know his Super Art Three SA Three in Third Strike. Oh, it looks so cinematic, so cool. And again, like he hits the person, he hits Birdie twice, and then of course, in keeping with Ken's whole theme in this game, he's got a he's got a he's got a spin. So he got a spin on the way there. And then you gotta spin on the way back, guys. That's how that's how you Shotokan. That's how you Shotokan karate. That's how you do it. Oh, Ken looks so styling. I love the new do too. He got rid of like the he got rid of like the Steven Seagal uh see this? He got rid of the Steven Seagal uh ponytail and he's got kind of like the we call around the office we call this the Darren Brazil, one of our uh one of our wonderful uh video coordinator, uh production coordinator bossy video type people. He's not bossy at all. He's awesome. Darren Brazil wears his hair like this. So yeah, new new do for Ken as well. I like it. And uh, a new mantra to set everything on fire and spin a lot. So uh, so yeah, that's Ken in Street Fighter V. He looks very offensive, very dynamic, very stylish. Um, very excited to, to get my hands on him. I've never been a Ken guy, but he looks like I might play him in this game. And what the... What? What was that? Guys and girls and dogs and cats and everyone who watches IGN. Whoa. Oh, is this? I don't know about those cat eyes. I don't know about those yellow eyes, but I think this is E Honda. I think his hair is kind of like braided um, on the sides. It, it's it's a little bit strange looking, but I think his hair is he's doing the, the braided hair off to the sides, that face paint is not identical to Honda's, but the angled up eyebrows along with the angled up face paint and the and that the nose, that angry, pointy, crinkled nose, I feel like that's I feel like that's gotta be that's gotta be him. So it looks like if we go forward again here, I think we get another do we get another look at him? 
Yeah, we do. We get another quick... Uh, let's see if this reveals any more. We see more of his hair here. I feel like... I feel like this is... This is almost certainly got to be E Honda. I would be shocked if it isn't. I'll feel so dumb if it's not. Um, but yeah, so uh, so that's what we got for uh, for uh, for Ken's reveal trailer in uh, in Street Fighter Five. Personally, I'm super stoked. He um, he looks totally dynamic and uh, an offensive uh, minded and just great for styling on people. And you know, you're not having fun unless you're styling on people. So uh, so thank you so much for watching. And uh, please, for more on Street Fighter Five in the coming weeks and the coming months as Capcom reveals more to us, keep it right here on IGN.